Welcome back to Question Period. Well, the race to be the next leader of the Conservative Party of Canada got nasty this week as new entrants jumped into the race. The former Speaker of the House, Andrew Scheer, an MP from Saskatchewan, announced his intention to run, but immediately Kelly Leach, another candidate who's rocketed to public attention on the back of her controversial plan to screen immigrants for anti-Canadian values, branded Scheer an out-of-touch elite. And then another Saskatchewan MP, Brad Trost, a social conservative, has now formally filed his papers to run as leader, as we have just learned today. Trost wants to reopen the debate about same-sex marriage and about abortion. How will he do that? Let's find out. Joining me now, Brad Trost. He has now officially entered the race. You have filed your papers now. Congratulations. Your hat's in the ring. You know, you represent the social conservative wing of the party, and we'll talk about that. But you and I both know, for 12 years since you've been an MP as a social conservative, with your position on same-sex marriage and abortion and assisted dying, we'll get to that, you are in the farthest reaches of the backbench. It's you know, you need binoculars to see guys like you out there. Do you feel that Stephen Harper, who had that social conservative coalition, essentially reneged on a bargain that he gave you to, to uphold your beliefs? Look, there were some things that we had agreed to. One of them, the Unborn Victims of Violence Act, that the government and its party policy had agreed to support that never was done. So things like that, which we were promised, which is part of the Conservative Party platform, were never fulfilled. I want those things fulfilled. It's one of the reasons I'm campaigning for this job. At the last convention, though, the party's moving away from people like you because you saw that there was a vote and the definition of marriage was dropped. So it's no longer a definition of marriage between a man and a woman. It can be same. Essentially, it was seen as a support of same-sex marriage. Does, is there? A but it was not. If you talk to the people, a lot of them was we just don't want to fight about this issue because some people have disagreements. If you look at the issues, one of the social conservative groups said there was five important issues to them at the convention. The social conservative won on four of those issues. The Conservative Party platform has the word abortion in it now with gender selection abortion. We are officially opposed to it. It's a piece of our platform that we need to but implement and same, I pledge same, to implement okay, it. Okay, but on same-sex marriage, they moved away from making defining marriages between a man and a woman. You then put out a uh, an advertisement with two fingers, and we show it to our audience here. I don't even know, first of all, what does that mean, those two fingers? Well, we were experimenting, so I got to admit, I don't know what it is. But You it, don't even know what it means? I don't even know what it is because we were playing with it. Because we it's were, a bit strange, right? Well, we were trying to say two different people. One was supposed to be a guy, one was supposed to be a gal uh, of the fingers. And the message was this, it's still a live issue. And this is why it's still a live issue. Because people who support traditional marriage are being discriminated against in Canada. You look at the court cases Trinity Western University is fighting. You look at parents who are advocating for independence and, and choice on sex ed for their children. People want to have different views on this. But, so this is but, still a live issue, even if the main issue is still not being debated. But the question is, is there room for a social conservative who's got views on abortion, views on same-sex marriage that you've got. Um, is there a place in conservative parties, mainstream conservative parties for you? I actually think we're growing. I actually think there's ways we can not only put it in our platform, which it already is, but ways we can reach out to the okay. general electorate and win votes because of this. If you became the leader, uh, would you put back in a definition of marriage that was only between a man and a woman? I would like to do that and I would be open to a free vote by one of my members and I would actually vote for that if it came forward. What do you say to people who are gay in your party? Is there room for a gay conservative in a Brad Trost party? I've worked with gay conservatives over the years. On Stockwell Day's leadership campaign, one of the first ones I did, one of our most prominent organizers was a great guy. Gay okay, conservatives I mean, are like gay conservatives. Some of my best, some of my uh, best friends are just, gay. Uh, uh, and, and I get that. But how are you going to express, I want these people. There are conservatives who are gay who do not support gay marriage. Just because people put you in a box doesn't mean your ideas are in the box. Okay, what about, what about an abortion issue? This, this, there's no formal abortion law in Canada, but we've got a Supreme Court decision that... that what would you do about abortion? Well, I've already said two things I will do, and I'll be releasing more on my platform. The two things directly I've said that involve the pro-life issue for the unborn, Unborn Victims of Violence Act, first proposed by Conservative MP Ken Epp. That's party platform. It would be law under a Brad Trost conservative majority government. Second thing, we would deal with um, gender selection abortion. Whole House of Commons including the Liberals and the NDP have said this is bad. Some people think that, you know, when you compared the sex education program in Ontario mm -hmm. to 
residential schools. I compared the principle underlying. The principle yeah, underlying yeah, well, is the same, and it's an important principle. Well, well, Parental well, 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 rights matter. Aboriginal Canadians. You said the, the underlying most, principle is the same, and it's, it's exactly true. Aboriginal Canadians had their rights violated. Parental rights, the most important thing, by a big government interfering in their lives, telling them that the government knew more than they did uh, what We're was best for their children. We're talking about an education program, but and it's you're a question even of but, whether but, but or not you're drawing it's a, a parallel between a, a, because a it's about parents' rights. What has been called a cultural genocide, trying to and it was a horrific act, and that's why I said it was magnitudes of order greater. But the underlying principle is the same. As you and I both know that is going to offend a lot. A lot of people, including a lot of First Nations. I don't think it will. There was actually a First Nation speaker who used the exact same analogy I did at the same rally. The sex ed curriculum exactly. is the, it sex was ed curriculum is the a same Mohawk principle Canadian as... A Canadian teacher at the rally did the same thing. It was reported in the press. So I disagree. I don't think okay. Canadians are that politically correct and touchy about issues. The important thing is we stand for conservative principles. Kelly Leach is getting a lot of press for values. Mm -hmm. Screening Canadians for Canadian values. Are your values Canadian values? I mean, would, would, what do you make of that? Would this, would views on okay. marriage be part of Canadian values? I, I think my values are Canadian values. But would you I'm a hunter. It, I'm a supporter of traditional right. marriage. I support pro-life things. Okay. If Justin Trudeau and the Liberals are doing the screening, I'm going to get cut out of Canada. But they don't screen like that. Phil, well, and this is the thing. Kelly what Leach does, is screening like that. It's a conservative who's brought up that And this is the question. What, what does she mean by it? So as I've said to someone, when they ask, do you support Canadian values? Well, that's like supporting the Rough Riders in Saskatchewan. Of course, we're going to say yes. But when you actually put some meat to it, what does it mean? Well, does what it does mean, it mean to you? And I don't know. From my perspective, we do screen for Canadian values. We ask people, do you want to come here for economic purposes? Do you speak good English, good French? So we do that already, and we do that in a way that if you've actually been to ceremonies, you'll understand how absolutely so passionate they are. So is that a red herring? Is, is this a red herring issue? I think it's a make, ma made up issue that she's going to look for substance. This is something I feel passionate about. My wife's an immigrant, came to Canada in 2003. I've got family from China, from Latin America. I understand. These people come to Canada because they want to be Canada. They're people that come because they choose Canada, not to use Canada. We all want to stop people coming to use Canada, but if you see the passion and the patriotism on Canada Day of new Canadians, you will be inspired. All right, Saskatchewan MP Brad Trust, who is running to be the next leader of the Conservative Party, and the race is heating up. Thank you, sir. Thank you.